now the biathlon women's 10 kilometer for visually impaired. Of course, that uh, means that we will also have the guide as well. And we have uh, more celebration ahead for Russia. And you can see the conditions on the screen there, very, very difficult. Please welcome the medalist for the biathlon women's 10 kilometer visually impaired. Приветствуем медалистов по биатлону 10 километров женщины в классе слабовидящие. So Ukraine again provides some real opposition to Russia here. Oksana Shishkova. She picks up her second bronze medal. But there's no denying in fact, we've also got uh, the second silver medal for the girl from Tiumen, Julia Bordeleva, and the second gold medal for Mikalina Lisipa, who is proving to be a hugely popular athlete here at these games for Russia. We've got our presenters here, Mr. Oliver Jacobi and Mr. Dennis Sekatev. The medals will be presented by Mr. Oliver Jacobi, Managing Director of Autobach Russia, accompanied by Mr. Denis Sekichov, Executive Vice President of the Sochi 2014 Organizing Committee. Medalia Vrushaya, Gospodin Oliver Jacobi, Uprawlayashi Director Kampanye Otobok Russia, Sobravazdini Gospodina Denisa Sikachova, Staršova Vice Presidenta Organizacionova Komiteta Sochi 2014. Bronze medalist representing Ukraine. Bronze medalist representing Ukraine. Oksana Shishkova. Kid. Lada Nesterenko. So the bronze medal to Oksana Shishkova. The guide is Lada Nesterenko. The 22 year old from Kharkiv. This is her second podium finish during this week and the presentation by Mr. Oliver Jacobi from Otterbock. Otterbock have helped with all the equipment that these athletes need and uh, a fascinating company that really does provide an enormous assistance to these uh, athletes both on and off with the courses and the areas of competition. Very impressive. And again, OGOP, the organizing Committee Executive Vice President, Mr. Denis Sakachev. They've done a wonderful, wonderful job, it has to be said. Fantastic achievement. Shishkova picks up the bronze for Ukraine. Silver medalist representing Russian Federation. Serebrine Prizore, Predstavitele Rossiye. Yulia Budaleva, Gil, Tatsyana Maltseva. Yulia Budaleva, again from Tiumen. We've heard that place so often mentioned. 23 years old, with her guy, Tatiana Maltseva. Again achieved a second silver medal. The first one in the six kilometer, now in the 10 kilometer. Very, very impressive. 27.9 seconds behind the eventual winner. So it was a comprehensive victory for Lisa, another silver medal for Yulia Budaleva. She's a candidate for Master of Sport in Russia. Has had her second in the World Championships in uh, Soleptia. And really very, very pleased with this Gold achievement here in Sochi. And Paralympic champions representing Russian Federation. Zolotri Medali. Звание чемпионов Паралимпийских игр. Завоевали представители России. Михалина Лусова. Гин. Алексей Иванов. <laughs> Алексей Иванов is having a lot of fun on this stage, I have to say. He's actually copying the stadium announcer, but there's no doubt at all it was serious business on the uh, the loiper on the slopes, Mikalina Lisova takes the gold medal 
It's her second gold medal. She's already picked up a silver in the cross-country skiing. This is now her second gold medal in biathlon. She has the distinction of being part of the Our Champion Project, launched by the Sochi 2014 Organizing Committee to raise awareness of the Paralympic movement. What a great candidate for that. What a great ambassador for the sport. Mikalina Lisova, Paralympic champion. Of Russian Federation. Dami Gospoda, Zvuchit Gim Rasie. Ladies and gentlemen, the Paralympic medalists. Дамы и господа, победители и призеры Паралимпийских игр. As the mist comes down over the Ibiza ridge of the Western Caucasus along the Rosa Couture Plateau, I can tell you it's anything but misty right here, or maybe in the eyes a little bit, but certainly it's all bright, smiling sunshine as far as Mikalina Lisova is concerned. She has certainly managed to achieve everything in terms of expectations of the people who have known her all her life. Nizhny Dagil is her place of residence now in Russia. They will be so, so pleased and proud of what she has achieved. She's not throwing out her bouquet, I can tell you, holding on to it tightly.